this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create your own split toning effect. Um, split toning is uh, something that you could do uh, back in the old uh, photo lab days and obviously now you can do in Photoshop quite easily. And it's basically taking any image and um, making so that the the there's essentially there's going to be uh, uh, some coloring going on to essentially a black and white image and there's going to be a coloring going on to the lighter parts of the image and a different color going on to the darker parts of the image and that's why it's called split tonings because uh, the 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 shadows are going in one uh, color direction and the highlights are going in another one hence the split tone okay so here we are you can take any photo that you like um, anything that would look uh, you know something a little bit more rustic something that you want to make it seem like it was taken a little while ago or something like that would work quite well. Obviously it works with any image, black and white and color and so forth. Obviously um, what we need to do here is actually transform our image into black and white and we're going to do this with a little bit more control than just regularly just throwing out the color. What we're going to do here is just add an adjustment layer and we're going to do a channel mixer. And the thing with Channel Mixer, uh, the, the concept of Channel Mixer is that it, you can transform something into black and white. First of all, clicking on monochrome here helps, right? So here we have our black and white image. But um, the way it works is that the you have the red, the green, and the blue channels, so three channels that make up all the, the whole image, and they need to add up to 100%. Right, so you can play around with things, and um, if you have Photoshop here, will tell you if you're over 100%. Basically, you're kind of you know screwing up the image a bit. Um, what you want to do is just um, play around with the different values, and uh, so that you're adding up to 100%, and uh, you're transforming it into black and white. Now, of course, there are many different ways to do this. Photoshop here, at least CS3, comes with uh, a few different presets, so you can see. Um, what the effects of the balancing distribution of these are. So for example, let's go in for black and white infrared preset and uh, you can see what that does here and basically you're removing some red, adding a whole lot of green and removing some blue. So we can do a blue filter for example which brings in some of the details here so whereas with the infrared we only kept a lot of the darkness here in the this barn here area in the blue we're actually adding it to the vegetation as well but not too much to the sky obviously. Uh, there's the green filter which is doing a little bit kind of similar to the infrared right but not as extreme and so on. So you can play with these but you can also notice what it is that it's doing here. So for example with the red filter it's just 100% red. That's it. It looks a little bit pale. So let's go here with the blue. I kinda like the blue but I think it's going a little bit too extreme and let's look here what it's doing. Well it's adding 100% to the blue. So what we can do to make this a little bit lighter here is to reduce the percentage here, say for example 80%, and then add 10 and 10. So we've made that uh, area here a little bit darker, uh, a little bit lighter. So what we can do here is just continue doing here again. I think I'm going to leave it here. So we have 70, 15, well, 15, 15, and 70%, adding up to 100 with our custom black and white image. I'm happy with that. I'm going to click OK. I just want to let you know that this isn't something to memorize here. Uh, the distribution of this will depend vi drastically with the different images that you use and the lighting conditions. So it's just a matter of just playing around with the, the channels and making sure that you're at 100%. Right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we've got a black and white image. Now we're going to do the actual split toning. And we do this with um, another adjustment layer called Color Balance. And with color balance, as I described it, what, what um, split toning does is um, it sends the shadows to one color and the highlights to the other. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click on the highlights here. And with the highlights, what we can do is, for example, whichever way that we move our uh, slider here, we can move all of them or just one and so forth, they're going to go towards that direction. So for example, if we want the lighter areas of our image, to be a little bit more yellow so that it seems a little bit more like a faded paper thing. Then we just move our slider here of the yellow towards the yellow and you can see how that works, right? If we wanted it towards the blue, you could do that. You know, uh, let's set this to here if you wanted a green, magenta. So you catch the you catch the idea, right? So it's just whichever direction you're moving, the lighter parts of the image move to that color. I'm gonna set this to yellow, so we're gonna just move it slightly here to 15, a subtle uh, yellow, so 14, 15, thereabouts. That'll do. Don't click OK just yet. 
And now we're going to go into shadows. And uh, like I said, we're just making them go in sort of different directions. So the shadows, we don't want them to go yellow as well, right? Then we're just making it sepia tone, so that's not split toning. You can make it towards the blue, for example. Or uh, I think what I'm going to go for here is I'm going to go for the red so that it has the red with the yellow sort of makes sort of a bit of a brownish color. So let's go with the red and let's go for sort of like a deepish red, something around 30 mark. So there we are. That's looking quite nice. So we'll click OK. And uh, there we have it. So we have our split tone. And uh, obviously I've explained this quite slowly, but it's a quite a, a, a fast process because let me just backtrack here. We have a color image. I added, uh, uh, made the image black and white, right? And we made it to our own, uh, to, to, to suit the image, right? A custom black and white. And then we split toned. Then we made the shadows one color, more in the red, and the highlights more in the yellow. And, you know, that's all there is to it. So let's, once, once again, before and the after. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.